and let's get on with it. So, in order to make a knight, it is much more difficult, so I'll be using a PNG and putting it on this plane right here. For the PNG I'm currently using, I'm going to triple it in size. Try to make sure that it is about, it is either three or a bit more than three inches. How you'll be able to tell that is if you look right here, three of these. Now just start, create a new sketch on this plane, and we're going to start on the bottom and work our way up. And we're just going to make half of it in this. How we're going to achieve that is create a one line. Let's for this make it 1.5. And now I'm just going to hover my mouse. And when it clicks, it's going to make an X and a triangle. Now I'm going to click right here and drag and go upwards. And then estimate that the top of this is about right here. So you should have, if you've been following along, you should have this right here. And let's just trim that edge right here. Now we're going to go over to create, go to arc, select three point arc, select this right here and this right here. And that's automatically going to create this for us. Now we're going to work one way, one up. We're going to basically do the exact same thing, but as you have noticed over here, this is this piece is a bit more curved, a bit more animate. So how we're going to achieve that is by using a combination of fit point splines and line and curved lines. So the thing about and we are just going to make half of this. Always remember when create when using fit point splines, if you want to change the direction of the curve, you should end whichever line you're beginning first. Now, just trace over this entire thing using fit point splines or curve lines as however you would like. This we are also only going to do half of, and. The reason for this, you're going to see pretty soon. And I'm just going to do this with a curve line to show how you would do this. And the reason I use splines is because you can simply alter whatever you want about them. And now do the exact same thing we did with the last piece and just draw a line up and oh, use the horizontal or vertical constraint to make sure this line is straight. And now time for the actual difficult part, creating this knight. So this knight you are going to want to create using control point splines, which I will show you how to how to use. And remember to use horizontal and vertical constraints whenever you want a straight line. Now we go to create, go to spline, and we go to control point splines. Now control point splines are a bit different than fit point splines in the fact that if one they can move both they can move either way even when you're arcing them and two because of these things right here these will these allow you to be capable of changing your line much more drastically than you would be able to do normally and usually this does make it better than the fit point spline, but fit point spline, because of its lower amount of functionality, is a lot easier to use. Now, control point splines 
as you see right here in this video, that you can use them repeatedly. You can use them after you've pressed enter, and you can alter them as you need. But you should always pay attention to the fact of if you need them, or if there's just something else that can make your life a lot easier. Such as down here when I used the arc feature instead of using splines. Now I'm just going to cut right here and come back when I've traced over only the outside of this knight. Do not trace the inside just yet. All right. So now that you've created, now that you've traced the image, and in case you're wondering, I did use control points the whole way through, and yeah, there are slight inconsistencies, but that just adds to the actual organic look of the piece. Now, for these internal things, if you want to we're just going to start from the bottom up, but it is basically the same, same strategy as the ones up top. Use control point splines to just create whatever you really want. For example's sake, I am going to follow this sketch or this sellout, but you can pretty much do whatever you want with this. Create whatever you wish. And if you are wondering where I got this PNG, just go and look up sellouts. Knight, chess piece, knight, sellouts, and you will find this. All you have to do is trace this, and eventually, yeah, you will be able. And just in case um, some of you end up having difficulty with it. The eyes need a the eyes will need a healthy balance of control point spines and fit point spines because of just normal ease because of the separate portions of the eye and how it's structured, it is extremely likely that you will want to uh, have a mixture between fit and control point spines. If you don't really get how to use either of these, then you can just use normal lines and make them curve a little bit. It will be a bit harder, but it will also work just fine. And in case you're wondering what these green things are, you can try them out. And I will cut back in when I have just finished this, these remaining designs. And all right, so now that you've traced over all of this, just click finish sketch, click the house right there, and go to revolve. Now for these bottom two, I will show you what happens if you select the exact same axis for both, you're going to get this error. Now to prevent this error, all you have to do is just select one of them at the same time. And don't click this axis right here. Click this line we made to signify the middle. Now just do this for both, for both of the bottom, uh, bottom pieces. We'll connect them later, don't worry. But there we go. And now for the knight. The knight is, as I have stated before, completely a personal matter. You can do symmetric, you can... You can create it however you want to. Like, as I did right here, you can create a completely hollow where you can see everything. Or you can just extrude the eye or choose to also extrude the eyes just by a different margin to make it look a bit more realistic. Now for connecting all of this together, we're going to go to create, go to loft, 
and loft each of these each of these separate pieces to each other, connecting all of them together. It does look a bit scuffed, I agree. But there we go. And yeah. Now I will for designers for for designing purposes. I am going to fillet and, cham and chamfer just a few of these edges. Just a few of these edges, like such as the eye. Not by a lot, just by a little bit. Like a thousandth, sometimes. Sometimes a hundredth. Sometimes a tenth. It all just depends. And even when that doesn't work, you can tack on zeros or just leave it be. But this is the night. And again, as I mentioned in my previous videos, don't tack on appearances onto your onto your chest piece yet. That's gonna be the next. That's gonna be in the final episode.